Yeah. Show, show you that great Bob Turner is one of a kind. Around his neighborhood in the southwestern part of Ohio, he's known as a sort of renaissance man. That's because in his 80 years, Bob has done it all. But one of his greatest accomplishments will always be his 49 years at AK Steel as a union man. Oh, yeah, sure. I think my first uh, day, uh, I spent eight hours uh, taking a brick from one fella and handing it to another fella. And I was so thankful when uh, the eight hours was up. And uh, I didn't know about doubles then, and they came around and asked me to work a double. So I spent 16 hours on my first day in the job. Obviously not afraid of a long day, Bob worked close to every job in the plant. But it was the nearly three decades he spent educating that meant the most. Undoubtedly, it was teaching. Yeah, when I was, uh, I taught maintenance school, and we had some awfully good students, and uh, I enjoyed that very much. I've seen the uh, young guys start and the older guys finish. And since his start date on May 5th, 1963, he's always been part of the labor movement. Ever since I started working, I've, I've been involved with the union. I never ran for office in, in the union, but I've, uh, I've been uh, attending meetings ever since I started working. That's because Bob understands what labor means to America. When you talk about uh, pay scales and collective bargaining and so forth, I think uh, a very few companies would uh, uh, have a uh, have the wages that we have now out of the goodness of their heart. And he made sure to bring the union matters message to everyone who came behind him. Every day Bob would do something to instill that in the younger workers. That one was built after I got here. After you yeah. got here. And I hope that uh, young people come up to appreciate what the union has done for them in the, in the past. And even though there's a bit of a generational gap, I hired in in 1963. And I was born in 1971. So it's like... <laughs> the men and women at his local lodge in Middletown, Ohio, are still following his lead after all these years. That Bob is, uh, Bob's a fighter, but he does it in the right way. He can do anything. It's no wonder Bob ended up at the IAM. The two are a lot alike in a number of ways. Uh, a union like the uh, machinist, uh, they, uh, when they speak, somebody listens. <laughs> One of my the same can be said for you, Bob. For the Machinist News Network, I'm Deirdre Kanievsky. <laughs>